Well, it's time to get some brakes done. Get some new bearings on the old two-wheel drive dually. Make sure you chalk the tire so it doesn't roll away. I like to have the jack underneath there. Taking a bulk of weight and they can back each other up in case something flops. Little floor mat. I got out the knees quite a bit. That came off easy. Sam's likes to use a ton of grease. Right, the caliper itself is a 17 millimeter bolt here. I believe this is the bracket is a 19. I'm going to take this off first. The caliper itself in the bracket second. That would be easier to get to everything. You want to support the uh, caliper, keep tension off the brake lines with something. I'll try this bucket. It doesn't want really to come off. Alright, well, I'll take the whole thing off. Apparently it's 21 millimeter, not 19. Okay, maybe a breaker bar will help. There we go. See battery powered ratchet in my future. Support the caliper. Get that bracket off. There we go. And try to set it out of the way a little bit. These don't appear to be in bad shape. But I'm doing the other side, so might as well do it together. Keep it even. And it won't hurt to have new ones. A little bit glossed. And pay attention to how they're how they're inserted. See how the clips work. Just and take a picture, just so you know how to put elements back in. And you want to pull these out and group pins out right here and put a little bit of grease in there these are not bad we don't want to season up yeah we need some a little bit of fresh grease all right so a little trick I found to get that center cap off a little pry bar let's put it underneath there get it just on the edge on the side edge and I tap it. Roll it around a little bit, tap it again. Voila. That was easy. And now to get this off, you can see in there there's a cotter pin I gotta get straightened out. Pull it out. And then there's a I think it's a cap captain nut on top of the main nut and they should come off with little effort. That's 
straighten the pin out. Pull it out. I put the cup, the uh, dust cap, so it uh, doesn't get lost as easily. All right, this next part is going to get messy. I get the there's the cap. Get it out of the way, and then the nut. Uh, I'm gonna have to look and see what this is. I think it's 28 millimeter. Have to check that. Anyway, it come, it came right off, and there's a washer behind it. I think washer than the bearing. So right, right now, should be able to pull this whole thing out. I'll try to catch that. And there's the bearing and the washer right behind it. I'll put the washer over here. Move the bearing out of the way because I'm not going to reuse it. Put a fresh bearing in with the fresh race on the rotor. Thankfully the races are included. So I don't have to worry about getting races seated or straight or anything like that. They're already there. So we'll clean this up a little bit and apply it. Uh, and a thin layer of uh, fresh grease on it before we put the other one back on. That rotor is 60 pounds, so brace yourself when you go to pull it because you got a lot of weight coming at you. Okay, that's decent. I'm going to use a little bit of red and tacky on here. Spin around, mix it up a little bit. There. Yeah, that moves a lot better now. Right, this one is a little dry too. It's a little drier actually. I even took a picture of this because sometimes when you get back to the installation part, you kind of lose track. You can clean this up a little bit if you want to use a brake cleaner. The caliper you want to compress. You want to compress them back slowly. I use a six inch C clamp. There's devices made specifically for this that will do it. I use a little block of wood to push both sides evenly. A little bit at a time. All right, I think that should be okay. Hopefully. And it wouldn't hurt to grease slightly. Uh, the back of the, you can do the back of the, um, the pad or here and clean it. You want to clean this up a little bit too. Um, a little brake cleaner than a little bit of grease. Yeah, I know I went with AutoZone because it was difficult finding parts. And a, a two wheel drive dually is not very common. And anyway, this one has the hardware, not all of them do. It's got the springs to separate the pads and it has the clips. Now it's time to do the bearings. I'm going to have to pack them and put the outer one in. The larger one on goes on the inside. The smaller one goes on the outside. i show you some of this bearing fun, fun and games. I want to kind of work it in here. I don't know how to squeeze the, the grease in here and just push, push, push. I want it to go all the way across till it squirts out this side. I want to roll it around a little bit and just push it in. Keep pushing the grease in. Yeah, it's cool called packing a bearing, you want to pack it. Oh sucker. So we need some more. Anyway, I'm not gonna bore you with this too much. This is important for the bearing of life. I also want to put some thin amount on the spindle, cover it. I try to do this kind of clean but I really 
really requires getting really personal with it. Then you should replace the braces. I did not do that one time. And yeah, turned out it was a mistake. Should have done it. And I see there's some coming in through the other side. One minute. All right, I dropped the uh, bearing inside and I greased the uh, the race. Like right, here's the old race. I'll put a layer of grease right here and I'll put the seal on and I'll stick this on the rope on the spindle and move on. All right, now that I have the clips lined up here. I recommend putting a little bit of grease on the back side of them when they hit the metal that they uh, yeah. They don't rattle, squeak, make excessive noises. Just gonna use a little bit of grease that's on the glove already. There. Okay, one, two, this one's a little bit loose too. better you should probably clean off the grease on the hardware here that we're going to use the washer it is slotted the nut capstan captain whatever it's called there's a little tab right there a little indentation it does kind of matter helps to line up where the cotter pin goes because the cotter pin goes straight in from the top. Clean the grease cap a little bit. Alright, so I got one clean hand and one dirty hand. Clean hand to put the rotor on, greasy hand, toss in the bearing. Ouch. And let's go. Hold it up in place. I forgot to grease this thing. Oh boy. Grease the race. Okay. Hmm. What the heck? These days come right. There it goes. It's on. Okay. So I have to hold it. Get the washer. You want the flat spots. Um, left and right. <laughs> and with a greasy glove. It's not that easy. There. Jeez. Alright, then the why don't you get the nut on? I thought I'd keep holding this. To get it rolling to be okay. I'll right. spin it a little bit. 27 millimeter nut. Ford says to tighten it to 20 foot pounds initially, which isn't much. There we go. I'm gonna rotate it a little bit back and forth. Then it says to back it off and then tighten the 18, 18 inch, which is not much. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make sure this is seated because I have one that did not seat all the way. The other side caused a mess. So, ruin bearings, mess up the rotor. So, I'm going to redo this at 20. I'll loosen it again a little bit, spin it, make sure it's all the way on, all the way seated. 
And then go back and do 20 again. There we go. Spin it. Back it off. Now, 18 inch pounds. Eight. <laughs> that's like, that's like barely on. Okay, let's see if I can get you in here on the no. Alright, now I got roughly 18 inch pounds just twisting it with my hand. It moves freely. Nice. I do believe this little notch here was the top. It's on indentation. Put this up top. And good. There's a hole right there. The whole the top is open. They recommend replacing the cotter pin occasionally. But right now, I'm going to use the same one. I can get it in there. There we go. Turn it. Bend it so it can't come out. Put the cap on. The way I do it may not be the best way. I'm going to get a piece of wood tap it in there with a hammer. 2 by 4 fits nicely. There's a little bump that sticks out. You can feel and make sure that it feels like it went in. A couple more taps for good measure. So this is done. Yay. There. Okay. Right, there's one. Try to get the other one in. I wish I got a more difficult one in first. If I can snap it in right here. There we go. All right. Top one, top one's been good. And the bottom one went on real nice. I'm gonna squeeze these together. I mean, I'm gonna get them tight because caliper's gonna need all the space they can get. Make a clip here. On there, same on the bottom. There, that way it pulls the pads away a little bit when the brakes are not applied. Probably should have done this earlier, but I want to kind of clean off the a little bit of stuff on here. Make sure the pins are pushed in. And voila. I get lined up. There we go. Bracket first. Okay. Now maybe I can get the, the caliper bolt down here on. Doesn't want to go all the way in or something for some reason. It's not lining up. All right, I had a little problem getting this bottom pin lined up. Okay, and turns out that this little uh, metal piece here is slotted a hair. Let me show you up top. See the metal piece right here? It's slotted. Um, 
there's a little stop right there and this had to be turned correctly oriented see it's got two flat spots and you had to turn it to have a flat spot right here beside that piece of the bracket and that's what stopped me from getting the bottom pin lined up and the brake job's done just gotta get the uh, the wheel back on uh, maybe I'll clean up a little bit get the wheel on and then do the other side as exciting as it sounds I'm want to get it over with All right, I think you say, uh, what is it, 140 for tires? <laughs> Done. Cap on. All right. After you do the other side, take it for a ride. You gotta break in the, um, you wanna seat, properly seat the pads to the rotor. And there's a series. I've heard many different ways of doing it. Uh, um, anywhere from taking it, I think from 35 to five, um, 30, 30 times with 30 second breaks in between. I've heard just doing uh, about four or five uh, moderately aggressive brakes from 45 to 25. So uh, with brakes, so you want them to cool off. You don't want to get them too hot, but you want to seat them as soon as you can so they're working properly. Anyway, I hope this has been helpful to you. Uh, it's uh, not one of my favorite tasks, but it is a huge money saver compared to paying somebody else to do it. And, um, and for that, I do it. Oh, also, I took the opportunity to clean the grease off the wheels, or most of it. Missed a little bit here. I missed a little bit more. Anyway, it's a little bit better. It's 25, 25 years old? No. Anyway, like I said, hope it has been helpful. And good luck in your endeavors on it. Have a good day.